This is Marius' 39 kill win. This is now the EU record and tied world record. One off, bro. Like 39 is cursed. Why are we not going to see the 40 bomb? So Underworld again. Same strategy as always. Drop Underworld. Get the Hades medallion as quick as possible. And then rotate to Grim while people are still fighting over it. The same strategy Marius does every week. This means he's now this season in only three victory cups, has dropped a 16 kill win, 21 kill win, back to back, same week, then a 34 kill win the next week, and a 39 kill win this week. Like, Marius is absurd right now. Absolutely absurd. Beautiful spot to land, too. He gets top down control, instant god chest. And this is on EU as well. Up until this season, everyone thought the EU record was impossible. No, no one thought EU was even in the race to get the 40 kill win. Everyone was making videos talking about how much harder EU lobbies were, comparing like earnings of each player that was killed. Everyone thought it was impossible. Now Marius has come along and it's looking like Marius might get it before NA. All right, we spotted the one only other opponent here who has no shield yet. This player has dropped Underworld and not playing it well at all, but oh no, we're running in the water. This can stall out your game so badly when people run in this water. It's so hard to hit them. This guy has no shield, luckily, so he might be able to finish him at range. But if you're versing someone who's 100-100, jumping through this water, it can waste so much time. Oh, so instead of playing this one from the top, so most players go into the building that's up over here on the uh, on the east side of Underworld. Marius actually builds up a little sky base platform above the boss. He usually builds a 2 by one at the back of the room, so he's changing up his strategy here for taking down Hades. The sky base is nice though, because it cuts off all other angles from getting to you. Gives you a lot of control, and it's really good for visual audio, knowing if players are pushing you. But that's it, all right. We just got Hades that quickly, and that was with us trying to get onto the train. We would have got this even faster. So one Elim, 74 alive, which actually realistically isn't that great. Oh, looks like he's identified at least one opponent. The build grid here is so awkward. You really got to know it so well to not get caught out. Nice ramp over the top. Gets top down, sprays him down to white HP. Probably going to see Marius main the SMG a lot here. Only has to hit one shot to finish this player. Going to try and go for the bleed damage kill, maybe. Bro, he steals my kill. Oh, my God. Oh, kill gets stolen. No, that's the 40 bomb as well. It's so brutal watching a game that you know finished as a 39 kill win. Because every single kill they just miss out on was the difference. That's a reload. Guess I did reload. Only 32. So it's good to know that even Marius hits for 30s with his gun as well. It's not just me. Such good position. You can see everything Marius does is so deliberate. He elevates to give himself some space, but he knows that his best chance of getting a counter pump to try to alleviate pressure is when the player is pushing aggressively from below. Man, Marius played that beautifully. All right. Only two Elims with 66 alive. It's so one sec. Yeah, Marius is just realizing what I just realized. This lobby is terrible for dropping a 40 bomb. How is this almost the 40 bomb? You guys hear me say that a lot. And I feel like it's lost all meaning at this point. But this is quite possibly the least stacked lobby I've ever seen to turn into such a good game. All right, double mythic, double medallion. And we've got the perfect loadout right now. This is the perfect W King loadout. Fizzberry, Big Pots, Makers. This is exactly what you want to carry if you're trying to drop a high kill game. Unless you maybe want to carry a sniper. All right, now the pace is... Okay, now the pace is stepping up. Here we go. We're getting aggressive. Oh, this player's got dashes, though. This could get ugly. This player could just run, unfortunately. No 40 bomb. No. It's way too unsafe. Yeah, see? He's even calling it right now. Marius has already got the mentality right now that he can't drop a 40 bomb in this lobby. I'm honestly astounded that he almost does. So he positions himself on this north side of the player because he knows the third party is to the south. So he's trying to stay on this side so he doesn't get third party and can pin the player. And he moves to the side, and then the third party starts focusing him. A rare potential mistake from Marius, but oh my god, never mind. Turns the mistake into a win very, very quickly. Baits the player out into pushing and destroys them. Ridiculously nice cone. And now we're back to versing the first opponent, who's putting up a much better fight right now, unfortunately, for Marius, though. This guy's really dragging it out. Man, this player is still hard, running. Hard, yes. I was worried when I saw this player had dashes, dash. they could just run, but... Dude, this is one of... This is a terrible start for Marius. This is, this is a very bad start for such a high kill game. So We're bad. now spending a good, like, few minutes fighting a single opponent. And it's still going. 
This is this is why originally people said the 40 bomb was not possible on EU as players like this. Just a, a no name, no offense to Fury Nao. I'm sorry, I haven't heard of you, but putting How up a really good fight a against one of the best players in the game. The average player is just really, really solid in these lobbies. Right, we've got the other medallion nearby though. So one of the south medallions has rotated north very quickly. Mount Olympus or um or Ares. Beautiful. All right, we are picking up the sniper. So I was interested to see how that goes. Okay, so Marius, when trying to drop these big games, does prefer to have a sniper. So instead of carrying medkit, big pots, fizzberry, he's opted to go for floppers and big pots so he can have quick heals and then carry no fizzberry, no mobility for the sniper. Just the Cerberus medallion. Oh, spot to play in the bush. I was about to say, Marius, so far I've made multiple videos on and has received almost no accusations compared to uh, other people that I review. <laughs> if he keeps having games like this, though, I'm sure TikTok will get involved. This player doesn't seem the best right now. They're not even coning their boxes off. I'm not sure what this player was going for. Are we going to phase in? This player seems to be... They're doing a good job of running and surviving, but I don't see how this player was ever going to beat... Oh... Marius, the way they're playing. Good ping, oh, though. This ping? Wait, this ping's actually really good. Finally takes it and puts him down. Makes Marius work for it. You guys know me. I love my momentum phase-ins. And a no-scope wall take momentum phase-in is just all the sweeter. Oh, the auto shotgun. Oh, that was Michael. We do know Michael. Okay, Michael, a known player. And that auto shotgun, almost the end of the potential 40 bomb. I will say the no-scope peace control and just no-scope phase-ins is one thing that I think Savage is doing better than literally any other player. Ugh. Savage Fuck picks up watching. a sniper and then doesn't even What's use up, it as a sniper. Go. He just uses it as, a, as like a, a structured damager. It is kind of like how Savage used to use the harpoon. Yeah, Savage used to use the harpoon. He'd also use the harpoon a lot as like a pump swap. He made the harpoon pump swapping look so good. I would always try it and it was so... I swear it was like had a bigger delay when I did it. Interesting that Marius rotates around his wall there to get the right hand rather than just editing through the wall. I guess just for that extra risk of getting pumped. He's only 123 oh, HP, so... This is so, so hard to fucking control. Marius struggling to control the Cerberus dashing. Would not have expected that. He also doesn't use the Cerberus dash to phase in that much. I mean, maybe he will start doing it more. And oh, as I talk about Savage with the sniper peace control, Marius does it. No scoping the walls for peace control is so nice, especially if you're running a mythic gatekeeper because you only have three shots, which is one of the biggest risks of running this shotgun. So it's really hard to use the shotgun for peace control. So if you carry the sniper, it lets you keep your shotgun and your SMG both fully reloaded and still keep up that pressure without having to double pickaxe walls and put yourself at risk. Very, very smart gameplay from, from Marius. Oh, he might be... Does he have the Zeus medallion? Maybe that's what's messing him up. You're right. I don't think it's the dashing. It might be the Zeus medallion. Oh. oh, there's the phase in. There we go. Another one. Again, everything I say Marius isn't doing, my man just turns around and starts doing it like three seconds later. And there, another beautiful no-scope wall take. And again, even with how well Marius is playing it, these players still survive. Like, this player is good. The fact they've held off this long, the decisions they've made, and how quick their, their reactions have been, this is a really solid player. How, wait, how did he... Wait. How did he just break that wall instantly? What was that? How did he just break a fully built structure wall like that? What? Okay. In the house, can I you just build on those? You can just... Wow. These walls you can just build on and they just replace. You can control it with the... That's crazy. I didn't know that was how Lavish Layer works. Damn. You can tell Marius has been grinding. Maybe I'm just out of touch. I've watched a lot of players drop a lot of high kill games this season. I have not seen people do that. Interesting. That's probably been like that since last season as well then. Maybe I just don't pay attention. He's about to kill 30 of the next 47 people. Good God. Another no scope phase in. Nice. <sighs> Marius is putting on a clinic right now. This is why he's doing it like no one else. As far as the who would win in a 1v1, Marius or Peterbot, that's not really discussion we're having, though. Marius definitely wins a 1v1 against Peterbot, only because Marius is, like, that guy in creative. Marius mostly plays creative, not in-game. If you watch a Marius stream, he's just doing token 1v1s and realistics. Marius has always been that guy in creative. 
But as far as like, you know, the question needs to be who's better at dropping high kill games because it's a different skill set, you know? We're on the edge of the map here as well. We haven't like gone straight to congested edge. We've actually gone to dead side. We're taking down the players on dead side before we go to congested side. And this player's running again. Really stalling out these fights. Maybe it's just cursed. Maybe Fortnite's just made it so that no one can get a 40 bomb. They're just, they're controlling the lobby. There's always been that, that theory that Epic controls zones in certain, you know, tournaments. Maybe just for the sake of convincing average players they can do well in the victory cup they don't want to see anyone get a 40 bomb i'm starting to believe it man we've seen three 39 kill games and no 40 bomb now no four four 39 kill games now and no 40 bomb still king people on dead side which is super interesting he's only got 11 kills now oh auto shotgun main making it awkward a very very annoying play style to verse there just holding out the auto shotgun but oh Marius jumps in perfectly timed right between when he has to reload. Very good decision making. I think Poyo dropped a 38. I think Poyo dropped a 38. I don't think it was a 39. But Poyo has also dropped some high kill games. Same with Cold. Reese also dropped multiple 30s. Oh, he's so lucky. Oh. This is what I want to see more of a Marius. I know he doesn't do it because it's not as efficient, but I want to see more of the hype build for Marius because my god. When he gets the players moving, when they don't just box up, holy, he's got such a fun play style to watch. One of the first times we've gotten to see like a quick box kill from Marius. Because normally, he pressures opponents, they instantly box up. But if he keeps them moving and they start building for height, he's actually got such nice peace control in high ground fights. Nice. All right, now we're starting to get the kills pretty quick. 14 kills, 36 alive. We get 25 of the next 34 kills. <laughs> this is what I tuned in when I was watching it live for a little bit. And I said, there's zero chance. This is even close to a 40 bomb. So. Oh, can't get in just quick enough. Interesting that both Marius and Peterbot, the two players in this discussion for best W keys in the world, are both not zero ping. Marius, I think, is closer to, like, that 20 ping, where Peterbot's closer to 30, which I'm not going to try and pretend is high ping, but it's not zero. Nice. He has to play a little bit careful there. That player was very clear in auto out main. He was playing further to the back of the box to make sure this player couldn't instantly just run out on him. Peterbot is now on zero ping. Today's solo victory cut will be Peterbot's first game this season on zero ping. That might be the difference for the 40 bomb. We'll see. He's moved in with Bucky. Marius using the Zeus medallion really well. Very, very well. Using just that constant extra little bit of elevation from the, uh, from the medallion to jump up and keep getting those above angles. Most people don't expect it. If a player's on your layer and you're trying to run away from them, you're not often building high walls because they don't usually that quickly get up there. Oh, straight in. Nice, consistent aim with this shotgun too. Oh, he drops his SMG for the mythic rifle. That is interesting. With a sniper too, so he's already got that range damage, but... Very interesting choice there from Marius. One I was not expecting with the way he's playing right now. This AR is good, but the reload on is much slower. So it's a lot harder to keep constant pressure. So he's now got a shotgun with only three shots and an AR that takes a really long time to reload. It does have the drum mag on it though, so. 28 alive, 19 kills and oh, bam. Going down to 7 HP there. Miguel almost ends it. All right, we're actually going to tank a bit of Storm here to pop out all of the Flowberry Fizz. And we're going to replace it with another Flowberry. So we're not ready for the heal off. If you're trying to drop a 40 bomb. You're not going for the heal off. And now it starts to look a bit more likely. 20 of the next 26. That's still insane, though. The fact that I'm saying 20 of the next 26 looks more likely is insane. That play is absolutely beautiful. I don't often do this, but I will rewind for that one because that was just insane how fast Marius' brain works. Jumps in. He managed to get in. And then at this point here, he jumps, he dashes to the right as he places the stair to make sure that he stays on top of it. It's so hard to see without slowing it down, but wow. Beautiful plays from Marius there. Using the, fa the dashing within the box to make sure that he doesn't go under the stair. 22 kills, 24 alive. This is where we have to just play so aggressive. No. This is where we got to start risking it. Yeah. Oh, what am I? 
we, we, that was a bit of a mistake there from Marius. We're double pickaxing a full metal wall with no info on the opponent. But if you want to so drop a 40 bomb, what you got to do? And that guy goes down to full damage. That was the 40 bomb as well. He goes down to full damage. That's the problem, though. This is the difference. Dropping a 30 kill win and a 40 kill win, a lot of those extra kills just comes down to taking risks. And that risk doesn't ruin it for Marius. But unfortunately, the damage that player does forces him off. And now we don't get the kill. Oh, nice cone. Oh, wait, they actually get away, though. I'm surprised this player survived right now. Oh, and there's the phaser. Never mind, not for long. Straight into the back of the box. 5-5-5, five, 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 three med kits, Fizzberry. Perfect loadout for Marius to do this. We haven't seen too many snipes from Marius so what far. The fuck am I... So far, Bro, the, actually, he's mostly using it as just, like, peace yeah. control. Oh, finds him in the cone. Could have maybe gotten that kill as well if he placed the wall in between him, but it's hard to know. Players like this are the ones that are throwing the 40 bomb right now. He's spending a lot of time trying to get this kill. This must be the longest he spends on a kill in rotating zones for how many he ends up with. IGL Slay gets through the window and oh, the positioning from Marius jumps up. Perfect height to place the floor. So he baits oh, the player the into the box thinking he's not, he's going to get pieced up. And then he just perfectly places the floor. So this is where it starts to look more and more likely. With the pace he's been going, at this point, I started to believe in the 40 bomb. Nice. Straight in the back of the box. We're going to drop the... Ooh, we're going to drop both our meds here. We're going to swap for the fish. So we've got nice, fast meds. Not as good for the heal off, but at this point, obviously, we're pretty sure it's not going to heal off. Ooh, this is the fastest pace I think I've ever seen someone play on rotating zones. Normally, at this point... This is where something goes wrong. Like, Peterbot or whoever we're watching gets hit hard and has to disengage, or they can't find a kill. I've never seen someone get this many of their kills on rotating zones. Player uses the wings. Nice wing strat, though. They do the, they do the short, short pad dash with the wings. Oh, that was close. Oh the God, player so whiffs their auto shotgun shot. We probably, honestly, it probably should have ended right there. That player should have killed him. Once Marius phased in and whiffed the shot on a player with an auto, that should be it. The game should be over. I wonder at what point Marius looks at the, the amount of players alive and realizes it's what possible. Or does he just keep going? I don't think he, think he looks. At this point, there's no way you're even looking. You're just going. Maybe I should ask Reed if he, how much he looks at how many players are alive. Oh my god. So many kills. This lobby was really good, though. I thought more of them would have died to zone here or something. Maybe that's the advantage of EU. The lobbies being a little bit harder. They do stay a bit more stacked into the end game. Trying to take high ground. Struggling with the Zeus medallion and the dashes combined. Marius loves his low ground shots. It reminds me of watching Fresh back in the day. Just going for those little low ground angles. Nice Zeus medallion use again. Gets the cone through. He needs to make sure that player doesn't die in zone though to someone else. He's staying back here to make sure he gets this kill. And he even goes into zone to secure it. He, needs to, he needed to get eight of the next nine. Only one player here could die, not to Marius. A very tall order. But my god, he made it look possible. 33 kills. Beautiful peace control. Gets him on the drop down. Takes the full damage. He can't get the dash off. Dude, the pace right now is just every second matters. You have to play so fast. Nice. Seems like some of the players left right now are struggling a bit more than the players he versed in the early game. He's getting a lot of these for free. He's making the shotgun look so good. Doesn't even try to place the wall. He doesn't even build the wall. Just wants the player to edit on him because right now, every single second matters. It's still possible right now. For he needs to get every remaining kill. At this point, it was still doable for the 40 bomb. Players in zone. He, he's just really trying to get everyone to bait to look at him. And there it is. He dies to zone. That was it. That was the kill he needed. At this point, it was actually the wind started to look a little bit sketchy, though. Forget the 40 bomb. We're at 100 HP, no shield, no builds. That should be a siphon. It's not. He goes back in zone for it. Two opponents left. That was even, that was still a pretty bad refresh. The tree. What am I playing? Dude, just like Peterbot. Peterbot died on the tree last week for his 39 kill game as well. Two players left. This tree just will not die. Apparently, Marius' his biggest enemy in this lobby, or most, the biggest difficulty, was a tree. 1v1 for the 39 kills. Good God, this game was ridiculous, though. Holy. 
And this kid could have ruined it with the heal off as well. If he had more meds, this guy could have won it. Marius has zero meds. 10 seconds left. But he does have the dash to chase him down. If he didn't have the dash medallion to go in and fight him in zone, this would have 100% been over. 39 nice. kill win on EU. Good God. 39 kill win. It's, Is oh, he sad though? Not a 40 though. Not a 40 so, and he's sad, bro. Like, oh, it's so crazy to hear them sad. But, like, I get it. They want the record. 40. 